the way to the plastic bee factory is through scenic oil palm plantations along a three kilometer estate road lying on both sides with lush green tropical vegetations and flowers. The front facade of the three story office building of plastic wee. The building is 120 feet wide by 1,150 feet long. The beautiful landscape in front of the factory building. Side view of the 1,150 feet long factory. The modern and attractive reception area. The well-lit corridor leading to meeting rooms, offices and toilets. The boardroom with a seating capacity for 15 people. The Chinese character Wei means magnanimity. License showing plastic V as an official licensee of EPI Canada, the general office on the first floor. A 40-foot truck is seen arriving with plastic raw materials. Well-arranged finished products and raw materials can be seen in the warehouse. All finished products are first palletized, then stretch wrap, and a tally taken against the ordered quantity to make sure the numbers are correct before they are loaded into containers for export to different parts of the world. Before extrusion commences, the materials have to be blended according to the order needs. Here we see two workers doing the blending. Once blending is completed, the materials are filled into 44 gallon metal drums on caster wheels for supply to the extrusion department. A supervisor is checking the parameters on the control panel of this three-layer stretch film co-extruder. The three-layer extruder is now blowing a bubble that is slid into three ups of film of 500 mm wide each. Once the roll is removed from the main winder, it is transferred for rewinding into smaller rolls for hand wrapping. Larger rolls for machine wrapping are also available. We now move to the extrusion department, starting with the control panel next to the two vacuum loaders on the coax extruder. Then we see the white co-extrude tubing rising up and going through the inline gravier printing process. Many designs are seen being printed. They are for customers in different parts of the world. Just to mention a few, some are in England, some in Ireland, some in Italy, Japan, New Zealand, Australia, and others. During extrusion and printing, our operators constantly conduct checks on the thickness of the film and width of the tubing. Random quality control checks are further conducted by the line leaders to ensure that the quality of our products meet with the high standards we set for our customers. Once the tubing reaches a preset length, it is automatically cut and removed from the winder and stacked on pallets, ready for collection by the bag making department for conversion into finished bags of different designs.
reels of tubings stacked on pallets can be seen neatly arranged for collection. A row of extruders is seen in operation here. Our company's motto, quality is produced, not inspected. The bag making department, narrow tubings are being bag made in four ups. A sophisticated and electronically controlled European draw tape bags on roll machine is in operation. The operator who handles this machine has to have knowledge of electronics and be skillful. The jumbo roll of tubing at the back of the machine passes through six stations before small rolls are produced, automatically labeled and packed ready for retail sales. The operator is seen packing the finished rolls into boxes. The electronic control panel and screen can be seen here. Totally degradable garbage bags on rolls are under production and manually labelled by the operator. An operator is seen packing punch-out handle bags which are produced by an expensive and updated Asian bag making machine. The process flow of bag making a punch-out handle bag is through four stations. The most important station is the punch-out station as the handle has to be centrally positioned. Two rolls of printed high-density polyethylene tubings are going through the bag-making process on a Japanese machine, converting them into T-shirt bags, mainly for use as counter-checkout bags in supermarkets and hypermarkets. The bags are first die-cut, then block into hundreds, and carefully pack thousand pieces to an export carton. Bags on rolls are manually labelled by a female worker, watched intently by one of the quality controllers with remarks recorded. A single handle load test is conducted on six 20 micron thick printed HDPE t shirt bags. The bags are loaded with 10 kilos of sand filled tin cans and left hanging for 10 minutes to ensure the handles don't fail. T-shirt bags loaded with 8 to 10 kilos of sand filled tin cans jog for 1,200 times on the jogging machine to ensure the handles are okay. Testing equipment and dispensing units in the Plastic B lab are used to test correctness of gauge, width of tubing, color of film, color of print, dart impact strength, elongation, etc, etc. A worker closing a pack carton on a sealing machine. A tanker unloading a tank full of solvent into our underground storage facility. Our dormitory for use by our foreign workers. Factory workers enjoying their lunch in the factory canteen. Food serve is halal and price is controlled so that workers don't pay too much for their meals. Finished goods being loaded into a container. The cartons are stacked loose one by one over the other 
so that space within the container is utilized as fully as possible. Towards the end of the container, two stretch wrap pallets are loaded to prevent the loose cartons from falling out when the doors of the container are open at destination. Finished products of Plastic V on display. They are made up of many product categories and printed with different designs on gravier process of up to six colors. Products available are bags on roll, loose and on core, as well as with draw tapes. T-shirt bags, garbage bags, patch and punch out handle bags, flexi-loop handle carriers, stretch wrap, barrier film, vacuum pouches produced from nylon, materials used in our production include HDPE, LDPE, LLDP resins, degradable additive and other forms of additives needed for our production. We have an install capacity of 1,800 tons per month and this is still rising. Our sales turnover is also expanding. Thanks is due to the continuing support of our existing customers who have shown great confidence in our products. Founder and Chairman of Plastic V, Mr. Alex Ng Seng Huat. <laughs>